Welcome back. The streets of Philadelphia almost look like a scene out of The Sopranos. There seems to be friction in the family just two weeks after the feds busted mob boss Joe Legambi and his crew on federal racketeering charges. Fox 29's Dave Schratweiser has the exclusive video of something you don't see every day. Everybody out here was watching these guys. They're on everybody's radar. You might call it the hot corner in South Philadelphia, 18th and Wolf. The guy waving his arms and looking ticked off is Stephen Mazzone, the former number two man under one-time mob boss Joey Merlino. Mazzone is now reported to be the acting boss in the wake of those recent federal indictments. And while we can't hear what they're saying, clearly there's one guy in charge. The two guys getting an earful from Mazzone are Anthony Borghese in the white shirt. He's the nephew of jail mob boss Joe Legambi. In the blue shirt is Philip Legambi, the brother of the current mob boss. Clearly he's giving the orders or stating his case or telling them how it is. The subject of this animated arm-waving finger-pointing discussion is unknown, but mob experts say it's most likely about money and power. It could be we're in charge, now the money comes to us, or it could be so-and-so punched somebody in the bar and that's got to stop. Who knows? Mm -hmm. But from the dynamic of the conversation, they were listening and he was talking. Mazzone just finished a nine-year sentence on racketeering charges. His lawyer denies any current mob involvement and says Mazzone is working and enjoying being home with his family. But mob sources say Mazzone is Joey Merlino's choice to run the mob right now. He's always been a gentleman, always been very low-key, which to me is out of character seeing him as, as animated as that. As they argued, the trio politely stepped aside for a man in a wheelchair. When a friend from the neighborhood waved from a passing car, they smiled, waved back, and went right back to the conversation. I mean, that could be what this conversation was about. Here's the new orders, here's the marching orders, here's the rules we're playing by, I'm putting you on notice. Now again, Mazzone's lawyer says his client has no current involvement in the mob and is a hard-working family man. Insiders say if the FBI and local law enforcement is looking for evidence about who's in charge of the mob, this tape may answer some questions. Given all the secret tape recordings made by the FBI in the current mob racketeering case, the street may be the best place for these guys to talk. In the newsroom, Dave Schratweiser, Fox 29 News.